the United Nations Population Fund, in collaboration with the embassies of the Republic of Chad and the Republic of Guinea, briefed permanent representatives to the African Union and development partners on partnerships and initiatives to harness the demographic dividend in Africa at an event held at the Sheraton Addis on the 31st of March 2016. Harnessing the demographic dividend is in line with UNFPA's aspiration to deliver a world where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe, and every young person's potential is fulfilled. The event kicked off with a media briefing on harnessing the demographic dividend in Africa and building the partnerships required to realize that potential. The briefing was provided by Mr. Mabingi Ngom, Director of UNFPA's West and Central Africa Regional Office, and Mr. Kwabena Osei Dankwa, Director of the Division of Governance and Multilateral Affairs at UNFPA headquarters. We have made excellent progress, and one good example have to do with what we have achieved so far in terms of positioning the demographic dividend as an important part of the international development agenda. As you know, the demographic dividend is now part of the Agenda 2030. It is also part of the 2063 Agenda, and most importantly, the African Union have decided that the demographic dividend will be the theme of the 2017 summit. And they have asked UNFPA, uh, ECA, uh, the African Development Bank, the NEPAD Secretariat, and the African Union uh, Commission to submit uh, a roadmap uh, in the uh, uh, few uh, uh, coming weeks so that uh, the continent can equip itself with uh, not only the political will, it's already here, but the program, the ambitious program we need to contain uh, the youth challenges we face today. The concept of the demographic dividend had been around for uh, quite um, some time, but what is interesting is the work that has been done, uh, especially by UNFPA, in using the demographic analysis uh, of each country and pointing out the, the, the opportunities in terms of how you uh, uh, look at the access to health, quality health, which Mabingi talked about, education, and not just education, but also uh, skills acquisition, um, issues of uh, entrepreneurship. You know, how you, you prepare the young person to be able to go beyond the kind of uh, <coughs> contribution that many of our young people in Africa make today. Because indeed, if we make the right investments, we can truly transform uh, and unleash uh, economic success that will benefit not just the young people, but our communities and the continent. And I think the beauty of the demographic dividend, it's about investing in the human capital. It's about investing in young people. And if we are in a continent where at least two thirds of the population are young people, there is nowhere we can go without them. A working dinner followed where the Honorable Ambassadors from the Republic of Chad and the Republic of Guinea, as well as dignitaries from the African Union and UNFPA, interacted with participants drawn from the diplomatic missions to the African Union, high-level officials of the African Union Commission and the Economic Commission for Africa, selected UN agencies, development partners, civil society and media stakeholders. L'UNFPA, fidèle à sa réputation de transformer et changer la vie, doit continuer à œuvrer pour aider nos jeunes à atteindre leur plein potentiel. Et je suis heureuse qu'en ce qui concerne mon pays et ma sous-région, de nombreux projets phares basés sur des partenariats innovants sont en train de faire la différence. L'année 2017 parce que ça doit être une année d'action pour la jeunesse, une action concrète pour le bien-être des populations. Nous allons échanger ensemble, après la présentation, sur un certain nombre de questions qui sont importantes de l'heure. Donc le débat sera un débat ouvert. Nous n'allons pas nous éterniser, effectivement. Je pense qu'on va aller vers les réels et les concrets, donc avec d'éminentes personnalités. 
The occasion also saw the continental launch of the annual report, Transforming and Uplifting Lives, One Region, One Mission, produced by the UNFPA West and Central Africa Region Office. Regional Director Ngom presented highlights from the annual report as they relate to harnessing the demographic dividend in West and Central Africa. Key actions spotlighted included the empowerment of women, girls and youth, as well as the need to promote a coherent approach with strategic partners. If we don't educate our youth, if we don't educate our girls and boys, there won't be a dividend. The youth wants to be part of the solutions, because I think that is my biggest reflection here tonight, that we must expect and ask them to be part of that, not just in a summit, but really in all countries. Make them participate in deciding what that would be to grasp the dividend. Uh, on, on the economic part, we would really like to engage the youth uh, because we have that, we saw the, the dynamics there, where, what is happening, the, the, the current situation, the still picture, as well as the movie, the moving picture, that uh, we really have to engage our, our youth to have as that uh, uh, dividend. So we have to make sure that uh, the youth are not only job seekers, but also job creators. Um, I think the conversation around women and youth is one that is uh, dear to the hearts of everybody that's sitting here. Uh, and, and I think we do know why. Uh, part of the, the problem that Africa has, uh, and I think the world, is that we're not uh, fully exploiting the potential of everybody, uh, both men and women. Uh, so I think the work that uh, UNFPA is doing uh, and, and the report that we just saw, uh, for me, demonstrates the real challenges that we have, the real practical issues that we need to be thinking about uh, as we think about implementing uh, the uh, Agenda 2063 uh, and the SDGs, uh, both in Africa and, and, and globally. We need to disseminate more information about the evils of child or early marriages. And uh, some of the groups we should target include one, the parents themselves, we the parents. We need to uh, discuss more how to be more responsible in ensuring that child marriages do not occur. How do you really give women more power? Empowerment requires that you want to have access to the corporate board, in the sense that you want to have access to real power. So therefore, women are tired of you telling them that you give them microfinance. That's not what they are looking for. Give them the access to big banks so that they can also be the contractors who can do roads. They can also be the manufacturers and be the, that is the real empowerment. La France a créé un, un fonds, le Front Français Muscoca, euh, pour euh, financer des activités dans le domaine de la santé maternelle et, et infantile. Et en fait, ce que nous avons fait, c'est de prévoir euh, sur la période 2011-2015 un financement de l'ordre de, de 500 millions d'euros. De, qui est passé par le canal de notre agence de développement, mais aussi par des fonds, le vôtre en premier, mais aussi l'OMS, l'UNICEF et ONU, ONU Femmes. UNFPA is advancing multiple initiatives and establishing partnerships like the French Muskoka Fund and the Sahel Women Empowerment and Demographic Dividend Initiative in support of efforts by African governments to transform and uplift the lives of women and young people across the continent. This is because Africa has a large and rapidly growing population and its women and young people are central to its future. In 32 African countries, more than 40% of the population is under 15 years old. As Mr. Ngom stressed to the media, appropriate action now can result in huge rewards for the continent. The demographic dividend can help Africa uh, generate at least $500 billion every year for at least 30 years. And I'm just speaking about the first 
window. $500 billion is more than enough to take this continent forward. So we all need to work together beyond our own microcosm, beyond our own self-interest and invest in the future of the continent.